What's up my fellow actors, Kurt Yu here, actingcareercenter.com. Today I wanna to share with you another quick tip on self-tape lighting. A couple months ago I made a video on using a ring light and today we're gonna to be talking about softbox lights. I actually just finished self-taping a couple auditions and I wanna show you the different lighting setups that I used because sometimes I will change up the lighting depending on what the audition is for. I've been using soft boxes for a while now. They're my preferred self-tape lighting setup and I know plenty of other actors use soft boxes as well. So I just wanna show you a couple ways that I use them. Currently, I have my two soft boxes, one on either side of me pointing at me at a 45 degree angle and this is how most people use soft box lights. I'm gonna pull out my phone right now and just show you exactly how this looks on camera. You see my camera right there and my one soft box to my left and my other soft box to my right. And this creates nice, bright, even lighting. And I love how this looks, especially when I'm doing like a commercial audition or for an industrial video, or even if it's for like a movie or a show that's a lighthearted comedy or something. I love using this bright, even lighting. Now, if however, I'm self-taping for something more on the dramatic side, I will move these lights around to create more of a cinematic feel. And let me show you how that looks. So this is my preferred lighting setup when I'm self-taping most of my theatrical auditions, especially when they're movies and shows more on the dramatic side. Now we're using the same two soft boxes right now. We've just moved them around a bit. We still have the one here in front of me on my right, but the one on my left, we moved it from the front of the room over to the back corner so it's pointing at me and lighting me from behind. Let me pull out my phone one more time and show you how this looks from my vantage point. So there's my camera again in front of me and now we have the one soft box here on my right and then the other soft box is all the way here behind me. So this creates kind of a cross lighting effect where these two lights are crisscrossing right here and I'm standing right in the middle of it. Having the one light over here on this side creates a little bit of a shadow on the other side of my face. Now it's not super dark, but it's dark enough where it adds some dimension to my face and adds some dramatic effect to the video image that's created. And then this back light over here, some people will call it a rim light, adds like a halo effect on my hair, on the side of my face, and over here on my shoulder. Now this type of lighting is used all the time in movies and television shows, so I like to recreate it here in my self tapes to try to give the same type of feel. So I really love this type of lighting for my theatrical auditions. You may like it, you may not, it's a matter of preference, but go ahead and try it, especially if you have soft boxes already. Just shift them around and see if you like this look. Just look how different this looks compared to the example earlier when we had the two lights directly in front of us. So these were just a couple of examples of how I like to use softbox lights for my auditions. I'll put a link to these softbox lights down in the description of this video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel to get more videos from me every single week. Until next time, keep practicing, keep learning, and I can't wait to see you on set one day.